Now in the next part of the question, we found out the value of x was 4.21716 that gave the area A a stationary value. And what we're asked to do is to show that with this value of x we create a minimum value for A, a minimum surface area. So how do we do that? Well one way of doing it is to double differentiate, differentiate dA by dx with respect to x again. And then by putting this value of x into d2a by dx squared, as we often call it, if you get a positive value, then that would signify that the area was a minimum. And that's the method that I'm going to use here. So what we're going to do is double differentiate d squared a by dx squared, in other words. That is, differentiate dA by dx with respect to x again. So, differentiating the first term, minus 2 times minus 300 is going to be plus 600. Reduce the power by 1, so that's x to the minus 3. And then differentiate 4x with respect to x, and that's just simply 4. Clean this up. Write this x to the minus 3 is 1 over x cubed, times it with the 600, and you've got 600 over x cubed. And then the plus 4 on the end. So now all I need to do now is just say when x equals 4.21716, and so on. I substitute that into here, okay? So let's just start a new column, okay? We'll just say that when x is this number, d2a by dx squared is going to equal 600 over x cubed, so 600 over 4.21716 and so on cubed, and then plus 4. Working this out on your calculator, you'll find you get 12. And this value is greater than 0. So because this is greater than 0, it tells us that therefore x equals 4.21716 and so on gives a minimum value for A. I'll just say a min value for A. Alright, that brings us to the end of this part of the question.